Hi everyone, it's Suzanne from the Crafty Cask, and wow do I have a treat for you tonight. Tonight, just in time for the holidays, we're going to have some fun with sweet potato liqueur. Mm. Which I've affectionately been calling the whiskey lover's liqueur. So, I'm giving you a little sneak preview into one of our exclusive behind-the-scenes videos that we'll be sharing here on Friday, November 17th. So mark your calendars because you'll only get to experience it here. It's at a place called Corbin Cash Spirits. They make sweet potato spirits. It's a five-generation family that's been running this sweet potato farm for almost a hundred years. And now, drum roll please, they make booze! <laughs> Um, so their vodka, their gin, their rye, whiskey, and blended whiskey are all incredible. But the one thing I want to tell you about today is their sweet potato liqueur. And as you can see, my bottle is a little low because that is how much I've been enjoying it lately. Now, I know. I know. You're all saying, gosh, Suzanne, liqueur? Liqueurs are so sweet already, and now you're talking about a sweet potato liqueur? That has to be like candy. I am telling you, it will knock your socks off. Everyone I've had try this, and I've had a lot of people try this, bartenders, everything. They've all been blown away. They all thought it was going to be too sweet to start as well. But the thing about it is, is that it's barrel aged for three to four years, which really rounds out the flavor. And then it's finished with just a touch of brown sugar and some baking spices. The finished product is actually only 3% sugar, whereas most liqueurs are way up in the double digits. So when you take a sip of it, which I'm gonna do again, hmm. So when you take a sip, it has that subtle whiskey burn that goes down. Like I said, this is the whiskey lover's liqueur. But then it finishes, and this is what makes it just amazing. It finishes with this almost toasted marshmallow note. Not super sweet, so don't let the word marshmallow scare you, but it just transports you to sitting around a campfire almost immediately. And it's just really, really incredible. So like I said, stay tuned. We've done a whole exclusive high production video there. We go to the sweet potato farm, we go to the distillery, we go to the barrel room, we see it all and we talk to the owner. And since it's not open to the public, it's really the only way you're going to get to see how sweet potato spirits are made. But I wanted to give you a little sneak preview so you can start to get excited about it. And in the meanwhile, you can go on the website below to see if any of their products are distributed near you, which trust me, you want some of this at home for the holiday season. But at the Crafty Cask, we're also working hard to figure out if there's a way that we can start to bring some of these amazing spirits that we find to you at home so that you're not just listening to me telling you about them and I'm being a total tease, but you can get a little sampler from us yourself for those products that you're interested in tasting. So let us know if that's something of interest to you in the comments below. And of course, let us know of any unique craft alcohols you think we should be featuring next. In the meanwhile though, I'm going to continue to have my little nightcap of this sweet potato liqueur and you be on the lookout for our exclusive video on November 17th that we'll be posting here. Until then, drink craft and drink local. Cheers.